11 o'clock. Where is Pete? He's usually early to poke night. Well, I'm damn. Try to call him, Dad. He's usually never late to poke night. I hate that thing, Lenny. Come on, you can't take a joke after all these years, Nora. Not necessarily. It's just that I didn't sleep last night or the night before that. Well, can you do me a favor? What time you got? My watch says 7 or 4, but the other savings always fucks me up. Same here. Hmm. Any word from Tommy? He's Pete's brother, after all. I think he's on one of his golf trips. He calls me up and tells me that I have to open and close. So this morning I called him just to check in. He says something about hole 18 and hangs up. <laughs> Classic Tommy in his golf. Hmm. That's a shame. I had to put the cards away until Pete shows up. Cards? You guys are still doing poker night? I thought you weren't allowed to gamble in public. Well, we call poker night just to keep the excitement up. We play different card games now. And what would that be? No fish. We still have fun though. And Pete always makes the best. I've grown to love Tuesday pokers. Yeah. Or go fish rallies. Yeah, it's still fun. Well, maybe Pete's busy tonight. It is a weeknight after all. Ugh, so Lenny, I see you brought Debbie back. You usually drop your girlfriends after a couple weeks. Yeah, well, Debbie's different. And for your information, Nora, I'm not like these other girls. I don't give it up so easy. Are you sure about that? Oh, come on now. She's a young lady. She can dress wherever she wants. Well, you got the young part right. You'd really rob the cradle with that one. She looks almost underage. Oh, come on. Nora, Debbie's one of the oldest women I've been with, well. She, no, oh, yeah, other than my ex-wife, of course. Debbie yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that Debbie can speak for herself. How old are you? I'm 25. Turning 26. Uh, <laughs> and she's a Pisces? Oof, good luck with that one, dude. What? I went to the casino for my 50th birthday and I won five grand. She's not the charm. Uh, I would have never guessed that she would have been allowed into the casino. Oh, shut up, you. You're just jealous. Barely. All right, that's enough, ladies. No, I'll have a beer. Might as well have a sip while we wait for Pete. You want some, Deb? Mm, I'll have a new seeds breeze. Would that be a non-alcoholic for you? Hi, sorry I'm late. You wouldn't imagine the traffic on Main Street. Oh my god, that's like the old, oldest excuse in the book. But ma'am, I was just... Okay, kid, relax. I'm just busting your chops. I'm late like 20 minutes sometimes and I still have my job. Oh, good to know. So, you're the newbie here? Yep, that's me. Take a picture to last longer. No, no. I showed your name tag. I love the name Nora. That was actually the name of my first cat. Oh, how charming. Remind me, I have to give you your name tag and name them. Skipper? So, who did this? Where did that name come from? My parents love peanut butter, so they decided to name me after their favorite brand. I never want to make that allergic. Well, I mean, I guess the name suits you. But to be fair, I really don't know what qualifies a skipper look. So tell me, what is a young, impressionable young lady like yourself doing here? I read in your application that you just graduated college. Yeah, actually I did. You read my application? Well, yeah, when a newbie starts here, I like to snoop a little bit. And my boss left me in charge for a week. Well, I guess that makes sense. It's nice to finally meet you. I never really thought I'd end up working at a bar after graduating. My major doesn't really promise clinical job opportunities. My dad kept telling me, Skip, money is everything. You've got to do something. So when I saw the help wanted that outside your bar, it was kind of like fate. And I only live a few blocks away. Fate? I really don't think or wouldn't have thought that anyone's fate would be in Mulligan's. Uh, well, let me guess your major. Was it theater or something? Whoa, how'd you know? 
Oh my god, that's like the worst major ever. But I shouldn't be talking, I majored in fine arts. So would that make fine arts the second worst major? Yeah, very funny. Just take the strings on the way to a couple of settings. Here's your drinks! Jesus, who even are you? Oh, sorry miss. My name's Skipper. It's my first day here. I'm just kind of excited. Don't worry about it. I like your confidence. I'm Lenny. And I'm Debbie. Sorry for yelling. I'm used to only seeing Nora around here. And I'm a long time regular here. As if you couldn't tell from the beer stench coming off of him. Uh, Nora, you got another thing coming if you keep picking on him. How old did you say you were again? Fourteen? Isn't it past your bedtime? Uh, whoa, whoa, ladies, ladies. Nora, you already told us you should be 25. That's why I said 30 years apart. Is it wrong that I love young, beautiful women? Oh, you're so sweet, Lenny. 25? You look young for your age. I get that a lot from you. Hey, yes, she doesn't dress young, though. Okay, Nora, you got my last nerve. Action. Do you, do you, do you come to this bar all the time? No. Are you 21? No. That you're not? Did they prove you? Let me see your ID. Does it you have your call? address on it? Your phone number? You Can you buy me a drink? No. Please? No. I'll make it up to you. Okay. Damn. Maybe I should just do our tarot reading. Do you know how to do tarot readings? The love readings. I got five of pentacles. Uh oh. Does that do it for you? If I'm a guy with five pentacles. It depends if you have one. <laughs> Hate this bar. Thank you. Thank you very much. Drama Club, Mercy College. Thank you. Good job.